So basically we're a self-service salvage yard. We buy roughly around 150, 200 vehicles a week. So with that being said, all the vehicles that come in, they also have to go out. So we're constantly rotating the stock. We have cars out there for customers to pull parts. Once they pull enough parts off of it, then we bring it back here and then we use the Volvo excavator to go ahead and do the final thing on it to make sure we get all the aluminum, copper, and everything out of the vehicle itself before we recycle it the rest of the way. Jeff does a really good job managing the, the business part of it along with his people. I think what you'll find what's different between 111 Salvage is just their organization, attention to detail. They're able to recycle every bit, anything that can be profitable to the business. Well, they are absolutely top notch in that area. Before the Volvo 235 and the processor came here on board, business was done with manual labor. We were actually using an L90G with a SAS it's called a Scorpion. It's an attachment on front that pulls the motors out and stuff, but it's just not as fast and it takes multiple people to go ahead and do the same process. Back then I used to use the Scorpion. I would have to run all the cars over here, start lining them up, uh, rip the engines out, dashboards, and I would set up like 50 or 60 cars for the guys. The guys would come up and start cutting up by hand the, the copper, start getting separating the radiators. It would take like about two days, two days and a half to get that done, like 60 cars. So now we got the 235. One guy can do roughly about 50 cars in a day, and it's just one guy. So that frees up other guys to do other projects around the yard, and we always stay up. And now with the new the excavator, it's a lot easier. The guys don't get uh, working too hard. It's easier on them, and we get cut up pretty quick with the machine. And then also the issue we were running into is all our work's done outside. And anytime it would rain, snow, hot, we'd be shut down. And it would just back us up because the cars are still coming in. So we really had to put the pencil to the paper and just figure out what we could do and how we could save money and be more efficient. So that's when we started looking at 235. The reason why we kind of looked at the 235 and a larger processor was because as the business grows, they're able to process larger things other than just vehicles. So, you know, possibly if they've got buses, trucks, we recycle, you know, any good parts on the vehicle, we resell for customers to go ahead and fix their vehicle, get them back on the road at a fraction of the cost of new parts. And then also we pull out all the aluminum, copper, aluminum wheels, everything. We separate that whole vehicle in different pieces, so we make sure we get the most money out of that vehicle itself. The operator loves it, you know, with smooth operations. He's not bouncing around, comfort of the cab. You know, he, he likes it, it's easier, a lot more precise. You know, he has more control over it this way now and less mess. Now with the excavator, it's more comfortable, the cab don't really move a lot, so just sit there and pretty comfortable in there. I like the Bluetooth and all that stuff in there. The controls, everything is, is good in there. A couple things that are really important for me with Volvo and choosing a piece of equipment is the reliability and then the service on them, making sure that anytime there's an issue that I got a dealer network close by, like Rudd, to be able to, you know, fix it immediately, you know, because I only have so many machines and I can't afford one day down just puts me behind for weeks. So I always have to have a reliable piece of machine that's always going to be up and running, ready to go. I recommend it. It's one out of 10, 10 being the best, it'll do a 10 on it. A lot of job gets done real quick. I highly recommend the Volvo. Volvo line for anything you need in the recycling business, you know, also with the SAS forks and attachments, they've always been great to us. We've bought multiple things from them also, and it's just everything's worked out great.